Hey there, Grim Fables here. Have you ever wanted to split all of your audio into such a way that it is very easy to manage and very easy to overview everything that you're doing? Worry no more, because we're going to get this done. First up, bit of a precaution, this only works for OBS Studio. I highly recommend that for all future streams you do use OBS Studio because it is much more versatile in everything that it has feature-wise, but not everybody uses it. If you don't use OBS Studio, um, unfortunately you would probably be using OB uh, Streamlabs OBS and this does not work for that. So to get started, we're going to have a link either in the tweet, the description, or anywhere that this is posted, and there'll be a link to this. If there is no link, you can always look up win-capture-audio, and you will most likely end up finding this either on the OBS project or on GitHub. We wanna to go to the GitHub link because that is much easier to use. That one we uh, would end up over here. We would need to go to releases if we're not there yet, and we will end up on this page. So for example, we, when we end up on releases, we will choose the latest version, which was released seven day, uh, 17 days ago for us now. This might be different when you get to this. And we will go to the latest version. We will scroll down and we will choose the setup.exe. Follow uh, uh, through the installation. It's not very complicated. It's not gonna do anything crazy. Just install it. Now that we're back in our OBS, we need to figure out how to add sources. Currently in the background, I have Arknights running and I also wanna have Spotify playing backing track. If you ever need free music that is royalty free, no copyright, no stuff like that, backing track. Please check them out, they're wonderful. I might even work with them in the future. I wanna have all of that together but I can't, I can't hear that right now. Arknights is playing and I can turn up the audio all I want, but you're not going to hear it because it is its separate audio source now. There's no desktop audio either. So what I do is I go to application capture. I go to, well, I, I can name it anything that I want. I already have Arknights audio as you can see right here. So I'll call it Arknights 2. And because I know that the source of Arknights is DN player, I will add the executable. And now when I go to Arknights and open it like this, you can hear the sound effects from the game like that, but it's still not quite complete. I still want to have Spotify going in the background as well. Same thing. We go to Spotify. We add Spotify too, because I already have a Spotify source. We add Spotify.exe. And now when I press play over here and I go over here, everything's combined and everything works together. And this is how you can split sources like this. Immediately when we do this, I'm also going to give you a tip that helped me quite a lot as well. I'm going to delete these sources now because I don't need to have these uh, active at this very moment. And I'm going to enable my preview, so we're going to have the little loop over here. But when I add a nested scene, you're going to see that when I add Arknights, and I make it smaller, you'll see that there is now Arknights audio and it's visible. The way that I've done this is I've created separate scenes for every single one of the games that I play. It'll get a little bit crowded in here, but I prefer it to be crowded in here than up here. So when I decide to play Arknights for today and I want to have that scene enabled, I will instead go to my uh, in-game, which I will not do right now because the display capture is not on for that. But if I go here and I have an entire drop-down grouped menu of uh, nested scenes, I can say, hey guys, today we're playing Arknights and then it will become visible here, and the audio source will also become active. In available audio sources here, I currently have, let's add those real quick so you can tell. Let's go to audio sources. I have my browser, in case I want to share something from my browser, my Discord, in case I'm in a call, music, which is actually what Spotify is here, music from, I believe this is also desktop, in case I'm running some sort of like separate audio, you know, playing an audio file or something like that. And I've got music from my stream deck, which is also a separate instance. I've made this a separate audio source in the case that every single scene that I want this to be in, I can have this added. This is very easy. It's very easy to group things like this, and it's very easy to organize things like that. Keep your workspace organized for everything to be a lot easier. And if in, in the case that I'm like, okay, well, maybe today I don't feel like having all of it together, I can make a group. And when I make the group, I'm just going to call it group. I can drop this in here. I can drop that in there. And I could just have that there. And maybe I'm not feeling Arknights today. I can just open this up. Hey, I don't want to play Arknights today. Maybe maybe today I feel like playing, uh, the, I don't know, Darkest Dungeon 2. Then I add that one and I would turn that one on. And look, the source would also be here. It's a very easy way to keep things organized and I recommend you use it as well. That is all I have for today. Thank you very much.